Want a cleaner way to spot trends and avoid market noise? In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate buy and sell signals using Heikanashi candles. One of the simplest but most powerful tools traders use. We'll break it down, build the logic step by step in PineScript, and by the end, you'll have your very own custom signal indicator. Let's jump in. Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Trade, the channel where we mix PineScript, the strategy, and simplicity to help you build smarter indicators and make better trades. Before we jump into the signals, let's talk about what Heikanashi actually is. Heikanashi comes from Japanese. Heiken means average and Ashi means price or pace. So literally, it means average price. And that gives you a hint about how it works. It's not showing you real market price. Instead, it gives you a smoothed version of the chart. Kind of like a moving average built into a candlestick. Let me quickly show you how each candle is built. So for close, it's the average of entire candle range. And for open, it gives us the continuity from one candle to the next one. And these are how high and low are calculated. So even if the market is wicking around with a lot of noise, Heikanashi averages all of them out and helps us visually see what direction price is really trending. Now let's talk about the ways we can use Heikanashi and the signals that we can get from it. Strategy 1. Three green candles with no lower wicks show us strong uptrend. This is a classic. If you see three consecutive green Heikanashi candles that don't have any lower wicks, it's a sign of strong bullish momentum. It tells you buyers are in full control, price is moving higher consistently, and pullbacks are minimal. This is a great place to enter a long trade or stay in an existing one. Same idea in reverse. Three consecutive red candles with no upper shadows means sellers are dominating. It's often a signal to go short or stay in your short position longer. Strategy 2. Use Akanashi to filter out noise and make better trade decisions. One of the main reasons traders love Akanashi is because it filters out false signals. Regular candles often show you too much detail. Tiny pullbacks, small wicks, indecision candles. With Heikanashi, all of that gets smoothed out. So instead of exiting a trade too early because you saw a red candle, Heikanashi helps you stay in the trade longer and make much more profit out of that trade until the actual trend changes. But Heikanashi doesn't show you real price. It's an average, which means your stop losses and take profits still need to be based on the actual market price, not the Heikanashi candles. This is why in the previous video we built our Heikanashi chart in a separate pane, so you can see both at the same time. So to recap, Heikanashi helps you to simplify trend direction, filter out noise, and it gives you visual signals to enter, exit, or hold trades longer. Whether you're using it for entry patterns, trend confirmation, or reversals, it's a powerful tool, especially when combined with traditional candles and other indicators. Alright, so now that we understand how Heikanashi actually works and why it's useful, in this video, we're going to create an indicator that gives us buy and sell signals based on the first strategy that we talked about. Now, how do we take this strategy and actually make it work for us on a chart? That's where PineScript comes in. So, PineScript is the programming language used by TradingView. It helps you build custom indicators, create alerts, visualize signals, and even automated strategies, all directly on your chart. The great part is that PineScript is really beginner friendly, and even if you've never coded before, once you get used to it, it becomes a super powerful tool in your trading. In order to write PineScript codes in TradingView, we need to go to the Pine Editor, which is right here. We click on Create New Indicator. So now let me write the indicator that we talked about and after that I'll explain the code line by line.
Now, let me briefly explain this code so you can understand it better and you can change or customize the code later if you want. So at the top, I have my indicator function with a title of Hey Kenashi and a short title of HAS and I've set my overlay to true so we can actually plot the signals in our chart. After that, I add a request.security to pull the Hey Kenashi open, high, low and close values so we can calculate the signals based on that and we can show the signals on their regular candlestick charts and not only on the Hey Kenashi chart. After that, I add a variable to store the Heikenashi candle color, which is calculated by these if statement. So we say that if the close is greater than open, the candle is green, and if the close is less than the open, the candle color is red, and if we have anything but that, return the candle color as NA. After that, we have our buy condition. So for buy signals, we need three green Heikenashi candles, after some red Heikenashi candles and this is because we get we don't get signals in the mid trends and we only get signals in the beginning of the trends and after that we say that our green candles green candles should not have any lower wicks same idea is for the sell condition so we have three red candles after some green candles so we don't get the signals mid trends and we want the red signals with no upper shadows and after that we use plot shape to actually draw the signals in our chart for the buy signals we want a label up with the text of buy and for the sell signals we want a label down with the text of sell now i just hit command s or control s to save the file we need to save the indicator we have to add this to our chart and we can see that our indicator is plotted in our chart you can see that we get the signals even if we use the regular candlestick charts and if i switch to a chart we can see the signals also now you can see that we get the signals for example for the buy signal whenever we have three green candles with no lower wicks and we get the sell signals whenever we have three red candles with no upper shadows. It's best to use these signals with other indicators to filter out bad ones. For example, you can use these signals with EMAs and you can say that get the buy signals whenever the price is above the 200 EMA and get the sell signals whenever the price is below the 200 EMA. Or you can combine these signals with RSI and say that Give the buy signals whenever the RSI is above 50 and give the sell signals whenever the RSI is below 50. Now let me just show you how you can do that in the code. So first I define an input for the length of EMA and then I actually calculate the EMA and I added one more condition to our buy signal so the close has to be above the EMA in order for a buy signal and for a sell signal it has to be below the EMA so now if I hit command S to save the file and go to the, sig go to the chart we can see that the signals are now modified you can also do the same with RSI you get the idea so now if I go to the indicator setting I can change the length for my EMA. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what should we build next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.